Oh. Two dogs. Oh, oh, Lola. Wow. These are different. I haven't seen these before. Oh my gosh. Go now. Circle dance. Circle dance. Circle. Good girl. Oh. Art can definitely be an escape during the worst of times. And that's what I'm doing right here. And, uh, aside from playing with puppies. I was shooting with Allie uh, using a Bronica ETRS and a Contax. Actually, not the Contax G1. I got a Canon EOS Elan 7E, which I used along with my trusty Canon 40mm pancake lens, f2.8. It's a little limiting in this lighting situation, but honestly, the Contax lenses only go to about f2 as well. The advantage for the Contax in this situation would be that it doesn't have a mirror flapping around inside of it when you take a picture. Range finders are generally better in slower shutter speed situations because of that, just like mirrorless digital cameras are. Here I am shooting with Cinestill 800T. I figured the warmth of those uh, vanity lights would really play to Cinestill's strength as a tungsten balanced film like you would uh, in cinema film especially which is what it is i was hoping i was hoping that i would get some halation on those bulbs on the vanity but it wasn't meant to be which is possible proof that cinestill is not only about the halation because i really like how these turned out color wise and the increased sensitivity also helped in the very low light even in a medium format camera with a giant flapping mirror. Well, not like oh. RB giant, but still. Oh, yeah. Here you'll see how well the neutral tones turned out with the tungsten balance film and these warm light bulbs. You'll see how it turns almost a greenish neutral. Some, some of that might be Negative Lab Pro and my scanning, but still. Oh, what is this? I don't know, it's kind of like jerky. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Look, come, come on, up. come up. Oh, guess who wants one now? <laughs> Lola. Does Lola need one? Yeah. Oh, totally look at fair. that. <laughs> okay, Lola gets one. Oh, good girl. Good girl. <laughs> we all need a good puppy timeout. So the second, roughly setup I tried during this was trying to take advantage of this mirror which unfortunately was not as brightly lit as I was hoping it would be with that window right there. I probably should have used a tripod but didn't bring one. Uh, lots of I've got a lot going on in life so I just kind of was not necessarily on my A game for this shoot but I thought it would be important to share anyway. Also by this point I had mostly switched to Ultramax which I did use some in the Elan 7 at the mirror shots, but you can see it here and some of it's better uh, glory. Although number eight would show you that it's kind of lacking when you don't have sunlight sometimes. But regardless, the uh, Ultramax performed about what I, how I expected. The Elan 7, I'm a little bit less impressed with lately. I've used it a couple of times since this shoot, and though it's pretty snappy and responsive and extremely, extremely like Canon's digital cameras, and also you've got to take pictures with puppies when you can, even if they're not perfectly lit. But yeah, uh, I'm going to give it some more time, but I think I realized that my problem with the Canon Elan is the Canon EF lenses and this has come up before that modern lenses are very focused on sharpness above all else and they often like character and a lot of times the color rendition can be a little flat and the rendering overall can be a little flat like it just there's a pop or a, a character on older glass that seems to have a little more to it and speaking of things that are lacking I shot a roll of expired Ektachrome 400 that I had purchased uh, semi-recently that I was expecting a lot more out of and I don't know if I should have rated it differently or if I forgot to set my 
ISO correctly or something on the Elan, or maybe the Elan just didn't get along with metering uh, during this time, but the whole roll was a bust. Uh, so there are some missing shots from the trampoline, unfortunately, that just uh, didn't turn out. That's uh, the name of the game. Although I have shot with lenses that I had accidentally turned to make it manual focus and so on. But as far as people who never let me down, I'd like to thank my patrons listed here. You can join my Patreon by clicking the link in the description or following the link I have listed at the bottom of the screen. You help me so much and especially during this uh, really difficult time in my life, you've been very helpful. So uh, thanks again and thank you for watching by the way. So after the trampoline uh, shots went bust, unbeknownst to me at the time, I decided to take advantage of my standard backlighting and some Lomography 400 film, which I am a big fan of. I had shot some on the trampoline, which were the very few trampoline photos you saw from the Veronica. And I just really, really like this film. You, you can see a really nice um, vintage tone to them, and I think they turn out really great and a lot better than the portrait films to me. They have more saturation. The portrait films are cleaner and probably more versatile. And this is another one that was lost to the uh, errant ectochrome. So I just kind of skip ahead to uh, the last handful of Lomo 400 shots right here. But yeah, uh, I, I tend to like these more vintage style emulsions more than the portraits, although I do like Ektar a lot, and Ektar is very much on the level of digital camera quality, especially if you consider the medium and larger formats. Anyway, I just loved how lush this scene was, and all the greenery, and I thought it would be a good opportunity to see how the uh, Lomo 400 rendered it, and I'm really pleased with it. And this one's a little short, but I will see y'all soon. Don't forget to subs subscribe and like this video. Turn on notifications. I will be slowly gearing up to normal uh, speed, whatever that is. And thanks for watching.